Dear viewers, welcome to another video on descriptive statistics. In one of my previous videos on graphical summary, I was explaining about how do we decide whether a given distribution is approximately following normal distribution or not. And in that particular video, I was explaining about the p-value. P-value is nothing but the probability value of hypothesis testing, which is the anderson darling test, which will be having a null and alternate hypothesis of whether the given distribution approximately follow normal distribution and the alternate would be no it does not follow normal distribution and depending upon the p value being greater than 0 0.05 we will decide the data approximately follow normal distribution and it is less than 0 0.05 we will decide the data do not follow normal distribution so this is a very simple way of deciding whether the data follows normal distribution or not but in that video i was talking about two other terminologies one is called kurtosis another one is called skewness so kurtosis is nothing but how is the tail of your curve or how much data falls in the tail of your curve that is measured in kurtosis and whether your data have equal variation on both sides that means you have equal amount of data above and below your mean or you have more data on one side of the mean compared to the other side of the mean is measured using skewness so whether a given distribution is approximately following normal distribution or not can also be uh, identified by looking at kurtosis values and skewness value so in this video i told i will post a separate video explaining in detail how to interpret the results of kurtosis value and how to interpret the result of skewness value so in that attempt i am going to explain about kurtosis in this video i'll also explain about skewness in my following video first let's understand this word kurtosis kurtosis comes from the uh, base word the greek word called kurtic kurtic is nothing but the curve so whenever you try to represent a distribution it have a curve the peak of the distribution is what we call it as the curve so the word kurt in the greek language represents the curve and generally when we are trying to understand whether a distribution follows uh, approximately normal distribution or not we will consider three kinds of distribution one we call it as leptokurtic distribution another one is mesokurtic distribution and the third one is platokurtic distribution so as you see all these are greek words might sound unfamiliar to all of us but not so difficult to understand so the word lepto refers to the greek word which means narrow curve if you see this color this blue color curve in our image it represents a narrow curve and if you see the green color curve in our image it represents so lepto means narrow meso means in between because uh, this is not so narrow at the same time not so flat and plateau kurtic distribution means a flat distribution so the greek word plateau refers to flat distribution so basically we are going to discuss about these three kinds of distributions based on the kurtosis values right so either it could be a leptokurtic distribution that means it is very narrow at the top or it could be platokurtic that means it's very flat at the top or it could be mesokurtic which is in between these two and if you see here the platokurtic distribution as it is flat at the top the tail is very thin so when i say the tail is very thin the meaning is you have very little possibility of data falling on the tail so more or less the data will be very close to your mean and it will fall in the center that's what we call it as a thin tail thin tail for this purple color curve if you see the tail are very thin or in other words the possibility of data falling on the tail is very less so if the possibility of data falling on tail is less in other words it means the possibility of outliers are very less that's how we need to understand it and similarly if you see the blue colored curve we call it as a flat tail why because the curve peak is narrow but the tail is an extended tail on both sides extended tail on both sides in other words means it's a flat tail what is the meaning the meaning is there is more possibility of your data falling on the tail or in other words in this kind of a distribution you will have more possibility of a outlier and finally the green color curve talks about the 
mesocortic distribution which is in between neither flat not nor narrow which is in between and more or less your normal distribution will follow the mesocortic distribution and how does how do we understand that the possibility of outlier is not very remote at the same time it is not very frequent it is somewhere in the medium you will have outliers but not very frequently also not very rarely you will have outliers every now and again and that is what we call it as mesocortic so this is how this word kurtosis uh, as a greek word comes from kurtic which is nothing but the curve of your distribution and based on the curve there are three types basically leptocurtic mesocurtic and platocurtic so lepto is narrow plateau is flat and meso is in between so this is the basic understanding now let's go in and understand little bit more about how the kurtosis values are getting calculated now if you see this particular um, uh, slide in this slide what we are trying to say is when you decide whether your distribution is mesocurtic or platocurtic or leptocurtic once you decide that what is your inference out of it what do you need to understand out of it as we see the term kurtosis even though talks about the peak of your curve the calculation the statistic calculation of kurtosis more or less is going to talk about the tail of your distribution that means the two ends of your distribution right so when you collect a set of sample data from a population and try to draw a histogram out of it you will be able to see the distribution of the data and you will also be able to calculate kurtosis and as you calculate the kurtosis depending upon the value of the kurtosis if you see here there are two values here one we call it kurtosis which is the actual kurtosis calculation then you have a excess kurtosis which is nothing but whatever you get as your kurtosis value you need to subtract it with a 3 it's a standard thumb rule that you need to subtract it with a 3 so when you see this kurtosis value in your mini tab or in your excel what you see is a excess kurtosis that means the actual kurtosis value get calculated and from there you are subtracting 3 so if you see a kurtosis value very close to 0 you can understand that it is a mesocurtic distribution or in other words it is more or less similar to a normal distribution and if you get a kurtosis value which is in negative less than zero then you can understand it is a platocurtic distribution oh, so what do we mean by a platocurtic distribution thin tail or in other words more and more data will be in the center like the purple curve more and more data will be in the center and very rare possibility of you getting data on the tail or in other words very rare possibility of you getting a outlier and similarly if your excess kurtosis value is in the positive then you can understand you are looking at a leptocurtic distribution which is nothing but it's a narrow distribution like the blue color curve that you see here that means it will have extended tiles and there is possibility of getting more outliers or there is possibility of having more data point on your tail so that's why we need to understand this terminology kurtosis when this is getting calculated in your mini tab or in your excel i'll explain how to do this calculation both in mini tab and in uh, excel uh, first we will see what is the formula so friends as i am doing in many of my videos the intention of my video is not to make you remember memorize formulas okay because we have uh, applications like Microsoft Excel or Minitab which takes care of the hard calculations so it's not necessary that we need to understand or memorize uh, understand is not the right word we need not memorize the formulas but we need to understand the formula so as you see here Kurtosis formula is given here which is nothing but uh, mathematically Kurtosis is the standardized fourth moment of a distribution so moments are set of measurements that tell you about the shape of the distribution right so how is this get calculated moments are standardized by dividing them against the standard deviation raised to the power so here we have to uh, calculate the fourth moment average which is nothing but fourth moment average divided by standard deviation to the power of four right that's how the formula works but as i told we need not uh, go through this hard memorizing formulas excel and minitab will help us to do that so what we will do is i'll explain how this need to be done in excel as well as how it need to be done in minitab but this is how the formula works now we will go in detail and understand about mesocurtic distribution so a mesocurtic distribution as i told is a medium curve that means it may have few outliers the frequency of outliers is neither um, extreme high or nor low it will have some outliers so the kurtosis value will be 3 and the excess kurtosis value will be 
zero. So let's see one example here. So this is an example where on an average a female baby elephant weighs somewhere around 210 pounds at birth. Suppose uh, a zoologist is interested in the distribution of the elephant birth weight. So the zoologist is contacting different zoos and sanctuaries around the world and every time when there is a female elephant baby is delivered what is the weight that data is being collected and let's assume there are 400 such data points and with that 400 data points we have drawn a histogram so what do you see on the right side of my slide you see that histogram and you will understand that the distribution more or less looks like normally distributed right more or less looks like normally distributed and how we need to understand this is for such a normally distributed data the kurtosis value will be close to 3 and the excess kurtosis value will be close to 0 that means kurtosis value minus 3 that is the logic right so in my mini tab i have generated uh, some distributions in my mini tab so let us go to my mini tab so here i have uh, mesocurtic leptocurtic and platocurtic data points already generated right so what we will do is we will click on stats and then we will click on basic stats and then we will click on graphical summary so in graphical summary i'm going to select mesocurtric like how you see the example weight of a uh, female baby elephant so similarly i have uh, some other data here which is normally distributed mesocurtric so let's click ok and see what is the graphical summary that we are looking at so this graphical summary in my previous video i have clearly explained about the histogram box plot everything but now our focus is more on kurtosis value and if you see this kurtosis value it is close to zero it's 0 0.31 as we all know we will not get an exact kurtosis value equal to zero the kurtosis value can be zero with some deviation on the positive side or negative side but as it is closer and closer to zero you can understand that this data is normally distributed that means there is possibility of some outliers the outliers is neither going to be very frequent or the outlier possibility is not going to be remote it will be more or less medium possibility of outliers on both the sides of the tail will be more or less medium and that's what we understand by mesocurtic so the same data that i have in this mini tab i also have it in my excel so let's go to excel so in excel i have this particular mesocurtic data same data i have in my mini tab so i'm going to use the excel function k u r t so k u r t is your excel function to calculate kurtosis so i type k u r t then i select my entire data set it's the same data that i have in my mini tab and if you see here the value is 0 0.3187 and if you go back to mini tab here also you will find something exactly the same 0 0.3 318718 so if you do not have mini tab but still if you want to understand whether your data is normally distributed or not calculating kurtosis in excel is one way of doing it and see whether your kurtosis value is close to zero if it's close to zero we can then decide that there is a good possibility that this data will follow normal distribution right okay now coming back to my powerpoint presentation now we will understand about platocurtic distribution as I was explaining, platocurtic distribution means thin-tailed. Thin-tailed means you have very little possibility of data falling on your tail or in other words, you have very little possibility of you getting an outlier in your data. So if you calculate the kurtosis value for a platocurtic distribution, it will be less than 3 and if you do an excess kurtosis calculation, which is nothing but actual kurtosis value minus 3, you will generally get a value which will be negative so if your kurtosis value in excel or in mini tab is in negative uh, negative far away from zero just very close to zero negative we can still consider it as a normal distribution a negative value far away from zero then we can decide this is a platocortic distribution or in other words this is a data where the possibility of outliers is very very less generally uniform distribution will follow this kind of a kurtosis value right let's see uh, an example here a psychologist is studying the social media use of students at a small high school and there are 400 students at the school ranging in the age from 14 to 18 so if you go to each of the student and try to get a data of how much time they spend on a week in terms of hours how many hours they spend on social media if you want to understand this data for a week right um, if you collect this data for students in the age group of 18 to 14 
from 14 years to 18 years more or less all of them will have the same amount of time spent on social media right so you will not have a distribution which will be normally distributed if you see this graph it is very clear that the purple color line indicates there is a uniform distribution and if you try to fit a normal distribution which is the green dotted line this particular data will not fit this green dotted line and what does that tell us that tell us this data is not normally distributed in fact it is plutocratic that means the curve is flat if you see the purple line here the curve is flat that is the meaning that we need to understand so now what we'll do we'll go back to mini tab so in mini tab i have a data generated here so let's click on stats let's go to basic stats graphical summary and now i select plutocratic and click ok now if you see here you get more or less a flat kind of a top it's not a unique peak there are multiple peak or in other words the peak is flat and if you see the uh, kurtosis value it is minus 1.018 as i told if your kurtosis value is negative it is a clear indication that your data is not normally distributed and if it is negative far away from zero you can understand it follows a plutocratic distribution what is the meaning it means it is a thin tailed distribution the possibility of outliers is very very less you will not have data falling on the tail of your distribution now if i come back to my excel Again, if you see here, I have the same data which I used in Minitab in my Excel. So I'm going to copy paste this formula here and you will see the same kurtosis value that you saw in your Minitab is now getting reflected in your Excel. And I repeat the formula here is KURT. So is equal to KURT. Then you select your entire data, you get your kurtosis value. Now finally, we will go back to the PowerPoint presentation and understand one example for a leptocurtic distribution. So as I told lepto, the Greek word refers to a narrow distribution. The curve at the top of your distribution is narrow, whereas your tail will be an extended tail. Extended tail means there is more possibility of data falling on your tail or in other words, that means there is more possibility of outliers in your data. And how do we understand whether the distribution is leptocurtic? We need to look at the excess kurtosis value, which is nothing but kurtosis value minus 3. So in this case, your excess kurtosis value will be a positive value because your actual kurtosis value will be greater than 3 so that your excess kurtosis value will be a positive value. So how do we understand this? Let's see an example. So this is a very strange example. So imagine there are four astronomers who are trying to find the distance between a blue star from Earth, uh, which is in a different galaxy. Right? So they are trying to measure the distance in light year as a unit. So what happens? There will be a lot of outliers. This data will have a lot of variation. The data will not remain the same. It will have a lot of variation because there are a lot of uncontrollable factors in this. So as a result, when you collect this data and try to um, make a histogram out of it, you will see here the green color dotted line represents our normal distribution, whereas the blue color line represents the actual distribution for this particular data. And that actual distribution is very narrow with an extended tail. And that extended tail on both sides tells you that the possibility of data on the tail is very high, which is nothing but the possibility of outliers is also very high. And this is what we call it as a fat tailed distribution. Fat tailed distribution is nothing but the possibility of data falling on your tail is more compared to data falling close to the average that is the meaning to understand this better let me take you back to the mini tab so here i have generated a leptocurtic distribution so i'm going to uh, click on stats i'm going to click on basic stats and then i'm going to click on graphical summary so here i select leptocurtic data and i click ok and when i click ok i get a graphical summary and if you see here the kurtosis value is 2.2 27219 so it is definitely way higher than zero it is on the positive side way higher than zero and what does that tell you that tells you that your data is leptocurtic so that the possibility of outliers is very high in your data so what we can do is we can come back to excel we can copy paste the same function here and you will see the same kurtosis value get displayed here also which is 2.27218 and that means it is much much higher than zero on the positive side and we can conclude that the data is not normally distributed. So friends, let me quickly summarize. 
the intention of we understanding about kurtosis is to know about whether my data is normally distributed or not that was the original purpose with which we started this video so there are many ways by which we can decide whether the data follows normal distribution or not and one way is to see how much of data falling on the tail that is one way and to know that the statistical formula that we are going to use is kurtosis and as we do this calculation we will end up calculating kurtosis and then we will adjust that kurtosis value against the expected value for a normal distribution and that adjusted value is what we call it as excess kurtosis which is nothing but you calculate the actual kurtosis and subtract 3 from that and then when you do that you get your excess kurtosis and that value can be close to 0 as it is close to 0 you can conclude that your distribution is mesokurtic distribution which is nothing but normal distribution with moderate outliers if that kurtosis value which is excess kurtosis value which goes in negative then you can understand it is a platocurtic distribution that means the possibility of outliers is very very less and if that value is on the higher side positive on the higher side the platocurtic distribution will have a negative excess kurtosis if the excess kurtosis value is on the positive side higher side then we can conclude it's a leptocurtic uh, distribution which means the possibility of outliers will be very high so the decision of whether my data is normally distributed or not can also be made by understanding what is the chances of outliers in your distribution i hope this video was helpful for you to understand the term kurtosis and how this term kurtosis plays a role in deciding whether the data is normally distributed or not in my next video i'll be explaining about the term skewness and how we will use the statistical calculation called skewness to understand whether the given data is distributed normally or not hope this video was useful thanks for your time see you in another uh, video regarding descriptive statistics or mini tab calculation or quality management uh, tools and techniques thank you friends